What's happening, everyone? It's Kevin from Newcastle Fans TV. I hope you are all good. Um, it's been a couple of days since the massacre at Leicester, and I've calmed down a little bit, and uh, going to swing straight into the preview, which is um, Newcastle United versus Manchester United. This has a bit more right right on it than uh, than most, because my two best mates are um, Man United supporters, so uh, it's it's a big one for me if we if we win. Uh, given that the stick that I've had for the Norwich game and um, the Leicester game just past weekend, I'll be having a field day, but that's by the by. Time to move into the preview and what I expect. Lee said um, in his last video, which was on the channel as of, like, as of Monday and Tuesday night, as you might have seen, but I re I'm recording this on the on the Wednesday night, so um, yeah, what I expect. Uh, sorry, Lee has said Newcastle should go for it a bit more. I'm not really fussed if we go for it or not. What I want to see from Newcastle is they look like they know what they're doing. The, the basics, like nothing, nothing too far um, fetched or go four two four and attack and go and try and beat uh, hammer teams and do the do the Kevin Keegan way. I just want them to know that they look like they know that they've got a game plan or look like they know they've got something because at the minute we just don't know they've got a game plan. Half the players don't know where they're playing. Half the players have played in several different positions this season. I mean, you you can't look any further than Miggy Almer on for that. He's played straight, but just behind the strike. He's played on both wings. It's just neither one of the lad hasn't got any confidence because we haven't been able to settle him in a position, and it's just like, what can the lad do? That's just one of many examples. We just need to get back to basics and get to get to doing what they do best, and that's what Rafa had them doing last season, which is defending from the back and building forward, compact as a team, and being effective when we're in front of goal. But we just haven't done that at the minute. And Leicester last weekend, just unbelievably bad. I mean, what can you do? Um, I just think Bruce, instead of pissing about with tactics that have shown over the last 300 games as a, plus as, Premier League, as a Premier League manager that haven't worked, to try something different, try something new. Because I look at, as I say in my videos on the, at the weekend, I look at Sheffield United, I look at, uh, I look at Norwich, and they're playing... On the front foot, they're looking to make things happen. They've got their own philosophies in place. And they've got an identity. Newcastle don't have an identity. So, to play Man United, I'd like to have an identity. Not go out and try and out-attack them because we'll get beat. If we just go trade for trade with Man United, we will get beat because they've got better players. They have a game plan and try and make things work. Do you know what I mean? Instead of Instead of pissing about with like three different formations in seven games like it's ridiculous like we need to get settled on a, on a system settled on a formation and just move forward with that that as simple as that really but what i expect from the weekend i expect man united to come out strong to be honest because they've got to draw at old Trafford against arsenal but there's a lot of pressure on them at the moment and the look from from what I can tell, the worst I've ever seen them in Premier League history. They've just been shambolic. They've lost at home to Crystal Palace. They've looked. They haven't played well this season. They've got a lucky escape against Rochdale in the cup. They've been. They've been shocking to be honest. They've been really poor, man. United this season, and given the signings that they've had, I was expecting a lot more from them. Not not a ch title challenge, but at least having that. Um, having that ambition to be at least in the top three or four, do you know what I mean? Like pretty much where Leicester are at the moment. That's where I expect Man United to be, uh, given the signings that they've had and obviously the way all Oli came in and obviously how he has had his own imprint on the team now. So I expected a bit more, but so far they haven't been able to do that. But Newcastle, I think we need to start um Alan St Maximin. That's for damn sure. When every time he's on the ball, he's a bright spark. He looks to run forward, and he'll really hurt Man United the way they're playing at the moment defensively. They've got very slow defenders, uh, bar probably Wan Bissaka. He's probably their quickest defender. But other than that, they've got really slow defence, and I think Maximin can get at them easily. And I think it's a good game for Almond to get confidence as well if played in the right position, of course. Um, personally, I'll go with a wing back system. I go with the I go five two three, kind of the similar city or five four one. Sorry, um, that's kind of what I go with from the start. But if we have a bit more, have a little bit of comfort, then obviously push forward for a bit more. But I think four four two is not the right option. 
or the right formation. I think Leicester game at the weekend proved that. Um, I think Maxman needs to start. I think with well, midfield situations a bit dodgy as well. Um, uh, Hayden's got a suspension. You've got Shelby out injured. So what do you do with the midfield? I think it's simply we'll have to play Casey Young and Sean Longstaff together. Or do you play Matty Longstaff? Let us know in the comments. Would you go with Key or would you go with Matty? Because there's there's genuine competition there for Matty and you never know. He might get on. He might get on to the uh, pitch on Sunday. I hope he does. It'd be nice to see the Longstaff brothers together in midfield for a Premier League game, especially. It'd be great, uh, especially be uh, especially both of them being local lads and everything like that. It's fantastic. But their uh, what would I say their player to watch was? I'd say Daniel James was their main player to watch for the for the match on Sunday. He's had a great start of the season. I mean, we were linked with him in the summer before he moved. To Man United, and I think he's been brilliant. To be fair, he's very quick, very direct. He's he's like he's 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 a very Man United player. He just he's took he's took it by the scruff of the neck, and he's scored what three, four goals so far this season. He's been brilliant. Um, I think he's the one to watch out for. I think Arsenal proved, if anything, if you show him on, if you show him onto the wing, in, instead of letting him cut inside, there's more. Like it's difficult for him to do anything when he's on the flank instead of cutting inside where he's most dangerous, as he proved against Southampton with the rocket goal that he scored, uh, and even against Chelsea when he got the chance to cut inside, he was excellent there as well and very dangerous. So for me, if we can nullify Daniel James, I think we'll nullify a lot of Man United's attack because a lot of them are so out of form at the minute. I mean, look at Jesse Lingard, for example. He hasn't scored since December last year uh, or assisted. So how he still gets in the England lineup is beyond me. But um, the, he's uh, Daniel James is definitely the one to watch out for for me um, in terms of what they can offer. And maybe Paul Pogba, if he wants to turn up. I mean, the Sky cameras are there, so he might... I mean, last year he got megged off Chris Inatsu, so, you know, it's not that good, is he? But um, there is no what you think in the comments. Do you think we can get a result against Man United? It is a big game, of course. It's a big game for them as well, but a um, huge game for us. Do you think we can nick the three points, despite how bad they're playing? Or do you reckon Newcastle will fall again and... Uh, Give me something angry to be about, something for me to be angry about yet again come the weekend. But let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, but before I go, um, there's been a couple of comments from the videos on Sunday night and Monday that um, where's the black and white show been? Because uh, the past couple of weeks has been a couple of issues with it. So it's just to reassure that it'll be back to normal on Sunday. I mean, bear in mind we've got a busy day on Sunday. We've got the videos to do. And then uh, the match, obviously, and then the videos after the match. But we've got the, uh, the Black and White show will be back to normal straight after the Man United game. I think it's only on one hour, though, instead of two, because it's just reaction from the Man United game as a whole. And then just be, uh, talking through that as it'll be very fresh on the mind and very relevant at the time. So that'll be, uh, I think that'll be. The Black and White Show will be very much back to normal. So I do apologise if anyone was looking forward to uh, watching it in the past week or two and didn't get to do so because of that, uh, because of the technical issues that have been in place. But it will be okay come Sunday. And yeah, there's one last thing as well um, before b before I leave you. Is, um, the Facebook group has... The, sorry, the Facebook page has a Facebook group, an exclusive group I'm posting in there all the time. Uh, Paul's posting in there all the time, Lee's posting there. It's just different, something different from the page. I think um, Owen was mentioning he was going to do a FIFA series as well. So it's something very different from the Facebook page and other things that we're doing. It's ex exclusive content, so if you want to mm -hmm. sign up to that, there's links in the description and everything like that. But get your comments in on the, the weekend, what you think is going to happen um, and everything like that. And uh, yeah, subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. And if you like our videos on YouTube, we have more exclusive videos over on our fan subscription group. It's £3.49 per month. You can cancel anytime. And what do you get for that money? Well, you get a supporter badge displaying that you're supporting our brand. You get exclusive content. So that can be videos. It can also be what we're up to during the week. Uh, things coming up on the radio show. Questions that you can ask us before anybody else. It gives everybody a heads up. Discounts are also there. You get discount on our NFTV shirt as well as three retro match tickets as well. And on top of that, watch out for our live videos. Are they only available for our fan groups?